Yo guys, what is up? Mitch here. Um, today I'll be talking about a new topic, um, just to inform more friends and family about what's actually going on with me and all of that. So hopefully this helps you out. Alright, so it's kind of not really anything that I talk about or going here, but I feel that everyone should know because it's really, really hard to explain to everyone over text. And yeah, hopefully this gives you more information about it and yeah, help you, help me. So, yeah. I'm just gonna put this out there that I haven't been clinically diagnosed because I've kind of like been avoiding it because I don't really wanna say that I have a disorder, but what I'll, talking about, what I'll be talking about today is depersonalization disorder, which is, it's either led by anxiety or the use of marijuana mostly, but yeah, so I'll be talking about that today. So pretty much the story is that I was with a mate and we were going to experiment with drugs. Not anything unnatural, it was just marijuana, obviously teens experiment and I did that and wasn't very happy with myself because I shouldn't have, but yeah. We went, got all the supplies and did what we did and yeah. Also putting it out there that this is really hard to talk about because it's so hard for people to actually understand. They say they relate, but really they don't. But yeah, so I'll continue with the story. So pretty much we did what we did, and then all of a sudden I walked out and it hit me. Obviously, I was what they call high, but it was just, it was more than that. I haven't known that I've had anxiety for a while, like a long while since I was like maybe nine, so. Uh, yeah, six years. All of a sudden it hit me and I was in this, obviously, the feeling of being high. Not proud to say that I did it, but I did. I was freaking out. My mate was enjoying it, laughing, when I was just, it does not react good with me. So after it wore off, it didn't wear off. Depersonalization disorder is something that I wouldn't wish anyone um, to have, it is utter numbness and it is possibly the worst thing that I've ever been going through in my life. Um, so pretty much what it is, is you feel a disconnection from your body as in to where you believe and your, uh, yourself believes that the world is actually a dream state. So, um, how can I explain this? So every day I wake up but still confused if I'm actually woken up. I feel inside that I'm always asleep um, to where everything feels a bit like a movie to where I'm the main character. If you've ever played GTA 5 and gone in first person view, this is how I view my life. It is one of the scariest things I've ever experienced in my life, but just coping to deal with it has been one of the hardest things because obviously it's not something that I. I thought I was going to have to deal with, but I am. After that happened, um, I reckon maybe a week went by, <clears throat> nothing changed. I was still in this self-locked up body that I just couldn't get out of. I was praying every day that it would just stop and my vision would go back to normal, as in experience things through my own eyes, not like inside my head looking through my eyes. It is one of, like, yeah, I just wouldn't wish this on anyone. Um, it's really hard to explain to people who don't get it because, as they, as, as I said before, that they always say they can, uh, they can relate, but they really can't. But um, probably the scariest bit is that there's no 100% cure. Um, it's quite rare. Most of the people who have anxiety, it, if you don't have anxiety, this wouldn't occur in your life. But because I've had anxiety from when I was about, yeah, from when I was about nine, um, I was not expecting this to happen at all. I always ask my friends, oh, do you feel like this? Do you feel like this? Because I felt so alone with this and how I felt that I didn't know what was going on anymore. Um, a girl told me about it and she said it was called depersonalization disorder. I read up about it and every single thing I could relate to, 
I was honestly in the happiest mood to know that I wasn't the only one going through this and there was other people suffering, not just me. But coping is the main thing that I'm having trouble with because I can't sit there for five seconds without thinking my life is a dream and yeah, being stuck in this self-locked body, it's really quite terrifying. Um, just saying, um, it has been eight months since this happened and till this day I still feel the exact same numbness and no self-awareness and no connection, no emotion towards other people, no emotions myself. Um, yeah, it's just really hard to deal with, to be completely honest. And it's hard because uh, many people try to help me, but obviously I get frustrated with them because it's just, it's not helpable. Like, you can do whatever you want, deep breathing, uh, going to bed earlier, no caffeine, no sugar, nothing will change the way you see things. Uh, it is a self-curing thing which can take anywhere from two to ten years. But then again, it's still not 100% curable. Like, medically curable, it's not, but naturally curable, you can only get to about 90%. There's still that, uh, there's still that time that it happens. Um, but I have gone through this before, but it stopped around three months. This is where I, I thought, oh, it was bad. It probably had other drugs in it. So I'll do it again out of stupidity. I'm now stuck into this derealized dream state world that I can't get out of. As much as I wouldn't sort of post this stuff, um, this is the first time I've actually talked about it really. Oh, not really, but uh, explained it to people probably the best that I can because it's kind of hard for people to listen to me without thinking it's a joke or I'm just uh, over exaggerating but yeah so I hope you guys did enjoy this video and have um, some more knowledge about like my daily life and what I go through and how I actually feel about everything and the way I see stuff um, but I'm praying to God that it cures eventually and that I'll be living my normal life back in my own self with no disconnection feeling. So guys, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.